Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for recruitment and also for employee onboarding. So what you want to do is just simply click add on a workspace and choose from templates. When you're going to be here, you want to click on HR and you're going to have like multiple things here that you can use. We are going to uh, use and look on three of these templates. First thing is recruitment process. Then we are going to look on recruitment and onboarding. And then we can also check the employee onboarding right here. So what do you say? We will go like that. And also guys, if you can have regard, if you can have any questions regard templates or you want to learn something and you want me to make videos on it, ask down below in the comments and I'll be really happy to do that. So let's click here recruitment process. Use template. Let's learn what we can find there. And then we are going to for another two templates. <clears throat> so here, what we can find. So first thing first, uh, let's look on the views. We're going to have the search chart and form. Form would be the application form for those that are interested in working for us. Then main table. Uh, in the moment when someone is going to fill the form, I'm going to show also how you can edit that. You're going to have in the main table, the applicants, right? So let's say, uh, someone is going to, this is like the applicant too, and this is the position, the source, the resume, the phone interview or in-person interview. References offer send contract again that's something like if you would send it to them and you get like the phone email linked in application date then you would have in progress that you would like move them here in progress and then you would have phone interview in person interview and these are like the hired right so you see that they got everything and you would like offer send or working on it or no go so that's pretty much it how we do it and you would have like all the applicants here so this is the recruitment process what you can do then you would have also unqualified so that's something you can have it too and you can have them and as unqualified of course what you can have is to simply have an ad view and also have a kanban and here you cannot buy position but you can have it as yeah, I want to show you divide by groups and you can have it here and not position uh, as a contract as a source and you can change the Kanban column. So if you like, and you can have it as a Kanban view, but personally, I like the main table. Now here in the form, really important guys, you can simply edit the form here and you can always add a new question in the moment when you're going to add a new question, you're going to have it automatically uh, combined with the main table columns. So in the moment when I would add a column here, I'm going to find it in my form. So let's say I'm going to add a new question and this is going to be a date, right? What is date today? For example, in the moment when I would like click X here, I would go to main table and see what is date today. In the moment when someone would fulfill the form, I would find, I would find the item here. So this is something how we can work with recruitment process. It's really effective and really good. I really think so. Then you're going to find the open positions here. So this is the first thing, the recruitment process and then open positions. Wait a second. I'm going to open the window. Okay, here I am. And now I can again click form, position name, position description, hiring manager, hiring manager email. So this is something you can do too, if you want to. And this is something you will have. So these are the open positions working on it or closed. And this is how the whole recruitment process works. When I'm going to click add here and choose from template and HR, and we can have the recruitment process. We can click here, recruitment and onboarding. And 
here. Look at this again, really similar. Uh, the new applicants in progress, and you can see that this is a little bit different. So you see the department, uh, resume, phone interview, in person interview, references, offer send, contract, email, phone, connect to employee directory, in progress. So this is really similar to recruitment pipeline. As you see, we don't have the form here, but we could like easily create it. So that's another thing what you can do here. Then you see also the employee onboarding checklist. So uh, you're going to see the work set up here, the people to meet, company materials, or did you like send them? Then you see also the like those like pick up laptop, create a user uh, in money.com and you're going to see the Kanban here, right? So you're always going to find like what needs to be done. For like the person. And this is something you can do. And you're always going to uh, find how we can use the HR work workflow here. So this is what you can do too, also as a employee onboarding checklist and how we can work with it. And then you're going to find also the employee directory as an employee one, employee two, and you would add other employees as a job description de <coughs> department start date email. So that's how it works. And that's how we can use the recruitment and onboarding. The onboarding, I would like improve it. So if you want, guys, write me down below in the comments and I can create a tutorial on this, but I would improve this. Because let's say, would, would, do you know what would be the best thing? That if you had a person and uh, like like it would automatically link it to and you would have it easy to like check, check in, check in, check in. Okay, this is done, 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 done for the person what needs to be done. So that's what I would I would do. I mean, you can have it as as like this, but I believe it can be done much better. I will think about this. So this is the, another template that you can use. And when you would click add here, so this is when I go to HR, recruitment process, recruitment onboarding, and then we can also go, let's say employee onboarding use template here again uh, look at this we can have the general this month next month last month and uh, we can see when we click here uh, the position we can see that site status department Equipment status, work email, send to IT, first day schedule, edit to directory, employee seat. So we can see this all. And then this month onboarding site status, and you can like always edit the labels here, work sent to IT, first day scheduled, and you can see it all right. And this is like only this month. So this is how you can like the employee onboarding works here and onboarding dashboard. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, regards employee onboarding HR and also recruitment pipeline, let me down in the comments. And thank you very much. Uh, this was on monday.com for recruitment and also employee onboarding. Um, thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.